content, your discretion is advised. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Dear brother and sister You are here to know the truth There is no sugar coating You wanna know the truth You became Muslim You decide to remain Muslim For your own faith To save your own skin You have to know the truth A while ago we have been seeing Literally An infiltration from the Shia people To our masajid in ISGH In Houston and around surrounding area there is no moderation between Muslim and the Shia. We are as a Muslim, we don't consider the Shia as Muslim. They don't consider us are, are Muslim. They believe that Sayyidah Aisha radiallahu anha, she did commit adultery, hashah, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala called it in the Quran, hadithul ifk. Ifk in the Arabic language, it's meaning that uh, it's not only a lie, it's impossible lie. So basically, just for an example, if, I, if somebody lie, that this lie is possible. If I tell you, like, so and so did show up today, so I could be telling you the truth, or I could be lying. There is buhtan, then there is the third level of lying, they call it in Arabic language, ifk. Buhtan, that I tell you, oh, can I borrow $100 from you? Then you just give me the $100 once I put it in my bucket. I told you I didn't take anything from you. That's in Arabic language, buhtan. This is not lie. This is a higher level of lying. They call it buhtan. Ifk is something that's literally impossible. If I came to you and I just tell you, hey, uh, I saw a flying elephant in the sky. So this is ifk. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala called the, the, the event of accusing Sayyidah Aisha radiallahu anha that she did commit adultery, if that's something that it will never ever could happen. Just like if I'm, if I'm calling you and telling you there is a, a flying elephant, was just I've seen a flying elephant or I've seen a flying dinosaur in the sky. So you know straightforward that I'm just not telling you the truth. That's that they call it if. While the Quran is telling us that this is hadithatul if, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala called it in the Quran is if the Shia people, astaghfirullah azim, they do believe that Sayyidah Aisha did commit adultery. They do believe that the Sahaba, radiallahu anhum, like Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq, Umar ibn al Khattab, they are kafir, they are murtad. That's what they believe. Of course, you can watch the video in my screen. This is just few stuff that you can i'm going to be putting put, putting the link so you can see just like that's basically what they do in in ashura and the time of hussein and all those things and you can even watch some videos this is this one of the video if you listen to this one of them he called himself scholar that uh, the translation can you cuss at the sahaba and he, the answer of course is yes and if you don't believe that the sahaba they are kafir this is another video right there. I'm going to be leaving the links. And unfortunately, they are in, uh, in Arabic language, which I'm sure you can find some any Arabic speaker that he will translate to you. And basically, both of those, what they call themselves, scholar or whatever. And the videos, they are there everywhere. This is, this is a readily available information. There is no secret. So if we just find some time today that some either tensionally or unintentionally, he tried to infiltrate our masjid by telling us, oh, the Shia, there is nothing wrong with them. They are okay. They, they just like it's a different madhab. This is just a bunch of flies. And this is cannot be right. We, we know that the evidence, the news, everywhere. You don't have to be smart or like a scholar to know the truth. It's the, the cussing of the Sahaba, the calling the Sahaba Kuffar. It's all over them books. You can make your own homework and search on Google. I'm just going to give you a few links so you can understand. Basically, what we need to do, we need to gather each other and make a petition for the ISGH here in Houston and all the masajid in Houston to prohibit any Shia teaching in our masjid, any Shia, any moderation with Shia. 
we cannot do that they just bunch of lie and all what they do they don't let us go to the masajid to preach that Sayyida Aisha radiallahu anha she's the wife and one of the greatest scholar of, of Ummahat al-Mu'mineen they don't let us go to the masjid and preach that Sayyidina Umar ibn al-Khattab and Sayyidina Abu Bakr al-Siddiq radiallahu anha there is not even a single Sunni masjid in Tehran in Iran in all the Shia cities down there. And this is a known fact. Everybody can search it. You can search it all over the internet. It's there. So there is no point that they try to, to lie to us and give us this lie. Oh, we are all Muslim. We are not all Muslim. We are not all Muslim. We are different Muslim than they are. We are as a Muslim. We don't consider them Muslim. They are as Shia. They don't consider us Muslim. You can watch both videos and both of them they say anybody that considers Sayyidina Abu Bakr or Sayyida Aisha or Sayyidina Umar ibn al-Khattab is a Sahabi and he's a great Sahaba of the Prophet they consider him kafir and for us they are literally accusing the Quran of being a lie because the Quran in too many verses of the Quran Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described the Sahaba that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala radhi Allah anhum wa radhu an that Allah subhanahu, subhanahu wa ta'ala is so satisfied from the Sahaba and they are satisfied from him and too many events that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and from the Hadith and the Quran that Sayyidina Abu Bakr is in Jannah Sayyidina Umar ibn al-Khattab is in Jannah Sayyidina Aisha Sayyidina Aisha Rasulullah sallam told her you are my wife in this dunya and in the hereafter so Sayyidah Aisha, she is in Jannah. This, this thing, of course, it's a common sense that the Sahaba will be in Jannah, but it's a big difference that the Prophet ﷺ, they told us that they are in Jannah. Once he told us anybody, anybody doesn't accept what Rasulullah ﷺ said or the Quran said, te technically, automatically, he became kafir because he's accusing the Prophet ﷺ of being lie of lying or accusing the Quran is a lie. Because the Quran told us that Sayyidah Aisha, she's, she's not innocent. She called her that this is Haditatul Ifq. It's Ifq. Ifq is the, is the third level of lying. So we need to gather ourselves, in, especially for the IEGH, and make a petition that there is nobody call himself Imam or non-Imam, whatever he's going to call himself. Then he come and preach his garbage in our masajid. We have to be firm. We cannot let this thing happen in our masajid. والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته